In this video, I'd like to show you how to set back the first new post so that it's not on the first step, but maybe on the second, third, or whatever step you want, or any position you want. So here we start with this ordinary stair. Let's have a look at um, it in 3D, and let's get a double view of the stair in 3D and in 2D. Now, what we need to do first of all is to get rid of the first post. So I'm going to just click here and just delete with the delete button. Now we don't have the first post, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to the 2D here, double click on the on this um, first string, and it brings up the double click brings up in fact the stairwell um, line. I'm going to double click on the line to create a a divide point. So now we've divided this stairwell into two parts, and the string will also be divided into two parts. So if I look over here. Uh, we can see the stringer is actually grouped. If I click on the 3D, and if I go to modify ungroup, we can see it's made in two parts here one part here and one part here. I'm going to click on the first part here and just delete it. And we see that the handrail, because the stair has been divided into two parts, we're also going to do that handrail. I'll click on this bit of handrail that's overlapping and delete it too. Now, if I go back to the 2D, click right and let's add a post. I'm going to click here, add a post here, apply. OK. And now we have a post here, which is actually on the end of this. Um, string here. Yeah. Now, this this post, this position of the post, will be depending on where I put the position of the stairwell division. So if I click double double click on this string again, let's click here. Sometimes you'll have to go here and click to uh, stair structure to get the right line. And we see here that there's here's the post. It's centered on the position, the virtual position of the, of the stair stringer divide here. If I want to move it back, I can move it back. So we can move it back. If we want to have a look at the different points, we can move it back manually like this and it will change. If we want to keep it nice and straight, the best idea would be to keep the X position in the same position as this point here. So if I look at this point here, we see the X position is 914. If I put here 914, it's going to pull it nice and straight and it's going to set it back we're setting it back at 250 from here to here so you see now it's centered actually on the first step and we can on the second step sorry second step nosing and this is this this is this this is the stair with the uh, post here now this is an intermediate post so it's not calculated actually to touch the floor to touch the floor i just click on it and go if we want to put this, this into english so it should just be Bit clearer so if I click it here and I go to base height position and I will put it from the floor position zero it will actually touch the floor now okay so that's how you put a post in and set that post at the position you want you, you don't you cut the string and put an extra post on that on the string that's been cut All right thanks for looking goodbye